So what is bounce rate? I'll give you the quick explanation. Bounce rate is when someone visits your website and without visiting a second page or taking some action on that page, they just leave, they just exit your website. Google or whatever uh, tracking software you're using will consider that as a bounce, right? We don't like bounces because that just shows that the person didn't get any value from visiting your website and didn't do any action or visit a second page. Now, that being said, so there is an exception. So for example, maybe someone uh, entered the Google search, got to your website and they saw your phone number and they called you right there. So we don't track that unless you have some call tracking software, then get out of your website because they already called you. That's a bounce also, but doesn't happen very often, right? So the point here is that we want to reduce those bounces uh, or bounce rate, how, how the number is, is measured because we want people to actually get some value from your website by different by visiting different pages. So how can we do that? As the tip says, use internal links. So when someone gets to your website, starts reading your content, maybe they found a blog post from your blog and they start reading the content in the blog, put links that connect to other relevant posts within your same website. So if for some reason they are not that interested in one day reading, then you can link them from one article to another, or maybe they are interested, but they want to learn more. So they use the internal links that you're suggesting additional content. Uh, the guys who do this really good, for example, for example, are HubSpot. Just look at their blog and they do a lot of amazing stuff. Let me show you an example. Let me minimize myself here. And let's jump over to the blog for HubSpot. So title, and we start seeing this and immediately, you see, they have links to other pieces of content that they have. Either resources, call to actions, uh, table of contents, which brings you to different sections. Here's another link. Uh, here's another link for templates. So again, resources, call to actions. As you can see all through the article, you're gonna find a lot of links that connect to other pieces of content where you can uh, learn more or reach more resources. So in the end, these type of, of internal links not only help break that bounce that we don't want to have on our website, but also gets the person one step closer to turning into a conversion, you know, whatever that is. In the case of Hotspot, probably is downloading a resource guide so they can later follow up with their sales team. So whatever your process is, keep that in mind. An internal link that points your content to another relevant piece of content or to a call to action or to a, a useful resource for the user will uh, prevent the bounce rate, but also get the person closer to uh, getting a conversion, which is what we want, right? So try that, make sure that your content has internal links that points the user to relevant information or to a specific action that they wanna take, and that'll improve both the user experience and your SEO performance.